Introducing uh, Mike Tyson. for Mike Tyson, Sterling Benjamin, the opponent, Tyson, in the dark blue trunks with the white trim, Sterling Benjamin in the red, last fight at Atlantic City, bit of a come down now, we're in Latham, New York State, we're in round one, Tyson's 11th fight, 10 wins, 7 inside round one, did I say 7, make that 8, perhaps in fight number 11, the count is 5, and Sterling Benjamin just beats the count. On they go. Is he going to make the belt? Somehow, you know, I just kind of doubt it. There's only so much punishment anybody can take. That is the limit of Sterling Benjamin's endurance. The referee was just about to step in anyway. I was a little nervy. I knew I was in there with a good fighter that went the distance with some good fighters. And I was planning on just putting the pressure on him from the beginning to the end. I planned on coming out with a jab because I watched him in the DeWitt fight and he was counting with the right hand good. And coming in the first round, I got grades with the right hand. And from then on, I know to slip my head and just keep coming forward. As for Benjamin, well, he was thoroughly impressed. He have a sledgehammer, man. You know, when I go down there, I feel it. He ready to hit that. It's the hardest I've ever been hit. It is the hardest here. The hardest of my whole career, man. They keep lining him up, and Kid Catskill keeps knocking him down, and there will be no let-up for Mike Tyson either. He goes to Houston on the 13th. He's going to fight some Texas champ down there. I think the guy's Richardson is his name. I don't know anything about him. They're supposed to have a film. But again, as long as Mike can hit them, if he hits them clean, they're going to go. So Mike Tyson continues to be a very busy man, but it's getting harder and harder now to find anybody who wants anything to do with him. I mean, no fighter wants to get run over by a truck. Get hit. And the end of the day, you're a fighter. 